Hello student, continuing with the same chapter, immunity. Well, today we'll discuss this vaccination and immunization. Immunization. First, we'll discuss what are vaccines. Vaccine is a suspension or extract of dead or attenuated which are weakened germs of a disease which on injection to healthy person provide temporary or passive immunity by inducing antibody formation and these antibodies will destroy the antigen or the germ of the pathogen present in the body so these antibody provoking agents are called vaccines now next is the principle of immunization or vaccination is based on property of memory of immune system so the memory generated by these vaccine in the form of antibody is the basic principle behind the immunization vaccine also generates generates memory B and T cells that recognize that recognize the pathogen quickly for example in a snake bite the injection which is given to the patient contain preformed antibodies against snake venom so this type of immunization this type of immunization generated by the antibodies is called as passive immunization because the antibody formation occurs when we have already injected the snake venom so a antibody generated against that particular antigen so the process of introduction or vaccine into 
an individual to provide to provide vaccination vaccination provide protection against a disease is called vaccination so this introduction of vaccine and the form of antigen or the snake venom for example we have discussed this provide the this boost the immune system of an individual against a particular disease so such an introduction of a vaccine is known as vaccination as we have discussed these are prepared from the antigenic proteins of pathogen or the germs in either dead form or activated form so so this vaccination vaccination can be of two types broadly in which the they are giving to the patients are inactivated which is in the weakened stage or next is the dead or killed vaccine so these two types the antigens can be given or introduced in the body of an individual next the vaccination and immunization are the two process in vaccination administration of vaccine or toxoid this is the vaccination right if we discuss the immunization immunization is the process by which process by which body produced antibodies against the vaccine against a vaccine introduced into the body so the working procedure the mechanism by which the antibodies are produced in the immunization only the administration introduction of vaccine inside the body is known as vaccination now up this we discuss the type of vaccines types of vaccines there are several type of vaccines the major we will discuss is first is attenuated or weakened vaccine attenuated or weakened in attenuated or weakened vaccines we vaccine use living but attenuated attenuated are again we have discussed is weakened not fully dead weakened microbes next for example attenuated vaccine are like sabin vaccine for polio next like vaccine against measles measles mumps and rubella is mm r vaccine the very popular vaccine that is b c g which is bacillus 
camelid urine for tb tuberculosis these are all example of attenuated vaccine next we are going to discuss is inactive inactivated or killed vaccine in inactivated or killed vaccine vaccines are vaccine use microbes that have been killed completely dead form this examples this includes vaccine against rabies influenza again for polio this is known as sark vaccine for cholera for whooping cough cough and for typhoid these vaccines are all made up of kill microbes third we are going to discuss is toxoids these are inactivated toxins directed as toxins produced by pathogen for example vaccine against tetanus and diphtheria both are bacterial diseases next is subunit vaccine subunit vaccines are the recombinant vaccines in this those antigenic fragment of microbes this that best stimulate an immune response these are these vaccines are produced by genetic modification techniques that is by the manipulation in the genetic content means microbes are designed or programmed to produce specific antigenic fraction again a particular micro such vaccines are called as recombinant vaccine such a vaccine is prepared against hepatitis b virus hepatitis b vaccine next is conjugated vaccine as the name suggests conjugated these are the vaccines which are developed in recent year recent year to deal with poor immune 
immune response of children. The polysaccharides are combined with protein such as for example diphtheria toxics as they are not more potent alone as a immune to boost the immune response use antibody so these are combined with the additional helper molecule which is a kind of polysaccharide which will give a successful effective response next is nucleic acid vaccine or called as DNA vaccine more recent vaccines these are the most newest and promising vaccine in this a naked DNA is introduced into the in the cell or body which will produce the protein encoded in the DNA. Now this protein will stimulate an immune response for a particular micro this is what the DNA vaccine is this is all about the vaccination and immunization thank you